Like many great battles, there are countless stories of heroism and tragedy. But for Freemasons, one story from the battle resonates more than all the others. On July 3rd, Confederate Brigadier General Lewis Addison Armistead led his troops into an assault known as Pickett's Charge, which was an attempt by Confederate forces to gain a critical piece of ground. Now, this effort failed in spectacular fashion as over 50% of the Confederate troops were lost. General Armistead himself was wounded at the battle, shot by troops under the command of Major General Winfield Scott Hancock. Now, Hancock and Armistead, ironically, had been very close childhood friends, and they were both Freemasons. Armistead was a member of Alexandria Washington Lodge No. 22 in Alexandria, Virginia, and Hancock a member of Charity Lodge No. 190 in Pennsylvania. Now, the story changes from telling to telling, but the basics remain the same. General Hancock had also been wounded in the battle, and he got word his old friend, General Armistead, was wounded, and he wanted to make sure his old friend was taken care of. He sent an aide, who was also a Freemason, to tend to Armistead. Union Captain Henry H. Bingham, he was a member of Chartier's Lodge No. 297. He found Armistead on the battlefield. Now, Armistead was severely wounded, but he was conscious. Recognizing that they were both Freemasons, Armistead gave his personal effects including his pocket watch, his diary, and his spurs to Captain Bingham, and he asked that they be given over to his old friend, General Hancock, to be returned to Armistead's wife. This monument commemorates the exact moment when these two Masonic brothers put aside their differences, set aside the battle, set aside all the political division of the day, and demonstrated what Freemasonry is really all about. Two days later, July 5th, 1863, General Armistead died of his wounds. Major General Hancock recovered, and after the war, he did return Armistead's personal items to Armistead's wife. Hancock went on to oversee the execution of the Lincoln conspirators, and he eventually ran for president. He lost to James Garfield in 1880 and died in 1886. Henry Bingham had a very storied career in the military, was eventually promoted to general, and in 1878 was elected to the House of Representatives, where he served until his death in 1912. The Friend to Friend monument was originally commissioned by the Grand Lodge of Pennsylvania and dedicated to the Freemasons of the Union and the Confederacy here at the National Cemetery Annex, August 21st, 1993. Now this date was important because it marked the first time that a private organization had been permitted to erect a monument in a national historic park. It took an act of Congress and over a decade of planning to get it done, and Freemasons nationwide contributed to the effort.